So I'm sorry that I'm going to use this sheet of paper to help myself so I can listen to you more fully and do not keep the questions on my mind all the time. No problem. Uh, I just finished reading your, your novel almost the same size at the universe and I was impressed by the image of fathers or father's generation who was telling their sons that they have to focus on fish mm. to bring independence and self-efficiency to the island, mm. Iceland. Mm. And they were actually telling them that it's not good to dream too much and to become poets or to kind of live in a mm. dreamland. But I was thinking that now what I experience with Iceland is that actually it is the nature of the Iceland and then the artist of the Iceland really brought, brought it on the global map. So mm. it's mostly the musicians and literature mm. we other people from the other countries do know and that's why we started to explore Iceland really. Mm. What, what do you think about that? So it, was it really uh, the art or the culture of Iceland which made the other parts of the globe interested in Iceland at the end? Uh, it's difficult to say. I think there, there are many, many reasons. Uh, Iceland has always been, uh, even in the, in the Middle Ages, uh, uh, people in Europe wrote books about Iceland and, and, and uh, because even though they had never come here, uh, because mm -hmm. Iceland was so exotic, it, it was so far away, mm -hmm. uh, and it was so different. Uh, so, so people imagine a lot of things about Iceland, how, how mm -hmm. it was, and and then in 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 the late nineteenth century, we and the beginning of the twentieth century, we, we got a, a lot of English you know, uh, lords or high-class uh, mm -hmm. tourists, some kind. Okay. Um, but they came, came to Iceland because they, they thought and had, had read the Icelandic sagas and they thought that, that Iceland was the ideal country where, mm -hmm. where there was no industry and, and uh, everything pure and pure people and da-da-da. So, so it's, it's, and it's still like that a bit, that, 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 that it, when I'm abroad and I'm getting questions about, about Iceland, there, there are a lot of cliches. Okay, so it's like... So, so, yeah. yeah, because people, people want to believe uh, that Iceland is this, this way or, 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 or that way because uh, it's in our... It's, it's in our uh, everyone has this need or it's to, 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 you know, uh, to image in some place where, where everything is better. In a way, it's, it's, it's always a dream of Eden. Or, mm -hmm. and, and so it's tempted some far away, strangely uh, shaped island in the middle of, of the Atlantic Ocean. And then you hear there are you know, 350,000 people and, 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 and educated and artists and da-da-da. And, and so you start to imagine it's, it's, this, it's a perfect, perfect country. And, and you, you don't want to... And whatever you say against it or, you know, say it's maybe more complicated, people don't want to listen to it. They, they keep, to, keep uh, to this image. The Iceland there are, are more or less poets, are musicians, and, 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 and we talk to the elves and the dwarves and, you know, this, this kind of thing. And, and I, I understand it, uh, of course, but... Uh, uh, but we, you know, as an Icelander, we always fighting the cliches. But uh, I think one of the reasons for I, 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 I describe it as you was in, in the in the book uh, that uh, one hundred years ago, or, or, or not to mention, you know, further away in time, uh, Iceland was r rather poor country and, and harsh. In, uh, in, uh, so, and we, we were very few. So, uh, there was there were no uh, nobody could live of art or music. Yeah. Uh, there were no no upper class who can you know hold you up or, or something. Yeah. So so um, 
uh, those who, who, who dreamed of, 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 of writing, for example, uh, there were no, the only chance was maybe to, you know, be priest or something and trying to write, you know, aside. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we didn't have any novelist until, uh, you know, 1920 or something, because writing novels, you know, writing novels that are good, you need time. And, so, and but how then it happened that now you have more, probably more writers than Slovakia, which has 15 <laughs> times m more population. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's complicated. Uh, firstly, that, that though uh, nobody could live from, from writing, mm -hmm. uh, well, they, can, they could do it in, in the 13th century when, when they, when they when they were in, in the clusters and, and wrote these Icelandic sagas, and, but after that, no. Uh, but it, it was always, well, in a way important, uh, especially poetry, mm -hmm. and, and, and also the, the language. It, it has always been very important in Iceland. And, and a poet was always a, kind, a bit, there was a bit respect for him. And, and also maybe fear, because if you're a poet, you can say something in verse that mm -hmm. nobody would forget. Yeah. So, so, so uh, it's a sentence in, in Iceland, um, well, it's, it's, it's in a, in a, in a po poem. Enkin skildi skáldin stikja skæði fyrir hemd. Nobody should fully with the poet because his, his revenge is terrible. Mm -hmm. and, and the reverence is the word. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so we have been, you know, yeah, it has been respect in a way. And so when the Iceland slowly went further and further into to the modern times uh, and, and the economy was better and better, it, it, it was easier here to build up you know, founts and, and things like that for mm -hmm. writers. Mm -hmm. So slowly, uh, if you have found uh, and if you are writing, you can apply to it and then you can use more time to write and then you get more books and you get better books. So slowly that, that builds up okay. and, and therefore we, we have this situation now that, that we have well, not more writers than, than football players, but, but still we have a lot, of, a lot of them. Well, it was interesting for me what you said about that, that people do uh, have this image of Iceland because it's far away mm. and they just get some pieces of our information and put them together and that also, of course, there are a lot of cliches uh, about uh, every land actually. Uh, it reminded me there was a book which was called actually Mountains in Head mm -hmm. and it was about um, the image of mountains and mountains climbing we've got from the literature and movies and what actually makes the image of some famous hills or mountains mm -hmm. then people really would like to climb but actually their image of what they will face there it's just from literature and from yeah. those, those uh, messages they've got from the people who have been there. Mm -hmm. And this writer who wrote that book was actually pointing at that how dangerous it is. Because a lot of the people who were climbing mountains and who were those first explorers actually wrote about them in a very romantic way. Mm -hmm. So when you are a boy and you read about that, then you feel like it's the most romantic thing to do is to climb a mountain, mm. but actually it can kill you too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So th that's one interesting thing. The other thing about that, that Iceland is so remote and people think of, of it, it reminds me there is a very nice Slovak song where the singer is singing that I do remember Paris. I remembering Paris never have been there mm. and it's it's about that that you know when we were also isolated during the communism so we didn't have a possibility to, tra to travel so but of course yeah. all the artists were for example dreaming about paris 
So they actually had their image of Paris, even they have never been there, mm -hmm. and they maybe had a sentiment after it or of it, but they actually never experienced it. Mm -hmm. So I think that it is actually, you are right about that, that because Iceland mm -hmm. is so still re remote, even it's, it's not such a hard thing now to get here, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that people have those um, their own Icelands on their, yeah, their minds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, yeah. it's still like that. And I want to ask you actually that now when there was this one year of pandemic when we were again actually all of us isolated and the borders which we were thinking will never reappear again uh, actually were again airtight and no one was able to travel. How that felt to be here on Iceland that year? Uh, it, it was very interesting experience. Uh, well, well, firstly, it was never as difficult here as in, in most uh, many other countries. There was never total lockdown. Or, 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 uh, but of course, all that tourist, for example, it just vanished. And, and it was a very strange feeling when you went downtown and, 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 and uh, we have been for the last 20 years used to have a lot of, 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 of tourists here and, and suddenly uh, Reykjavik was, was like, you know, uh, like Reykjavik 1980 or 1990 before the tourists. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it was a kind of, of, of uh, it was not uh, nostalgic, but, but it, it was kind of, 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 of seeing Reykjavik or, or traveling back in time in a way. And, but in a bizarre way, because you, you were walked past, you walked past all these uh, shops with puffins and, and you know, tourist thing. And, and, and they were just like some absurd thing, you know, what the fuck are you know, puffins doing here? Who, who, you know? And, and, and so that, that was the most bizarre thing mm -hmm. about the time. And, uh, and yeah, also that, that being an islander uh, or, or living in an island, uh, you have this urge to, to, to travel. Yeah. Or, or to see what's you know, behind the horizon. And, and, and so I think I know it was very difficult for, for many Icelanders not to able to, to, to go, to go, away. go, to, to go yeah. away or to go abroad. And, and, and that has always been very important to our culture uh, that, that we have constantly having you know, influence uh, from, from, uh, from other countries or, or nations. First in the Middle Ages Middle Age and, and you know, 18th, 19th century, all this fishing boat who, who came here from you know, Germany and, and England and France and mm -hmm. etc. Thousands of, of, of fishermen who were mingled with, with, with Icelandic people. And, and, uh, and, and, and then, then also Icelanders, you know, going abroad. Yeah. And, and there are thousands of Icelanders who are studying abroad. And, and, and that's vital for so small, well, for every country, but, but extreme vital for, for so small, isolated nation that, that people are, are coming and going. Yeah. Because then there is a, some move in the air and you're getting new, new ideas. The, the, the most terrible thing for any nation is, is being stuck with herself. Yeah. Uh, then, then you start to, to die. Um, in your novel, you are contemplating about the palm of the hand mm. and you are talking about that, that. It's interesting that, of course, you can leave it open and then it's something tender and caressing and open, but you can also make it a fist. And actually, you, you are also talking about that, that the fist is the best companion Mm. to drinking or to drink. Mm. And I was thinking that in Slovak we have actually a proverb that alcohol is a broom of humankind, mm. which means that it can sweep it out, yeah? Mm. But I think sometimes that also family could be a broom of the humankind because if it's so powerful and if, it, if, if there are, you know, those people who are the members of the family who actually are 
not those who do the decisions, they can be really overwhelmed with the power of it mm. and they cannot do their own decisions. So I was, was thinking about that, that if still the, the um, role of the family in Iceland is so strong and how would you uh, compare it to the society? Because I, I remember that Margaret Thatcher said at once that there is nothing like society, there are just families and individuals. Mm. I think that what is very important is actually society, which can help you to overcome, for example, the, the problems you have in your family. Mm. So do you think that this, the situation now in Iceland is more like an open palm or is it more like a fist? Well, if, uh, if I remember, remember correctly, then uh, this image of, 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 of white ear of, of the hand being, you know, the most uh, beautiful thing yeah. and, 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 tender, and tenderness and, and change to something very threatening. It, it, it was, you know, that, that's something to do, do with, with the alcohol and, and, and that's one of the things that I, I think one of the theme of my books uh, keeps coming up and again and again in, in a different, different uh, ways is, is, is drinking or alcohol. I mean, I, 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 nothing better, uh, one of the mo most, my favorite thing in life is, is, is drinking a good beer in, 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 in the sun. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bliss. But, and, and it's always been interesting in, in, in how, how this, this thing, alcohol, uh, can be full of wonderful smiles and dreams. And, and, but at the same time, it's like, you know, the devil has spit in, in every bottle. Uh, and and uh, I mean, there's so countless of stories and uh, of, uh, in my family and all, 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 I think all families about some tragedy about, about drinking and, mm -hmm. and, and, and et cetera. So, so I, I think it's, uh, it, it's so d deeply rooted in mankind, mankind this, this uh, alcohol and, 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 and wine and et, et cetera. And, and our, our memories and, and, and yeah, the whole story is, is it's combined. And, and so it's, I think, interesting to, to, to discuss about and, mm. and And I sometimes say that, that Jesus was, was the first uh, alcoholic mm -hmm. because, you know, he changed water to wine. You know, yeah, he was yeah, shaking, yeah. you know, yeah, I, yeah. I have to have a drink, I have to have a drink. Uh, but uh, yeah, the family, it's... Um, uh, for a long time in Iceland, the society was, was rather, or the regime or the society was, was weak. Yeah. Because we were, uh, uh, we were ruled by the Danes for, for centuries and they were both, they were, they were not so strong. Uh, they, 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 yeah, they, they didn't have that much power to rule and they mm -hmm. were so far away. So, so we didn't you know, feel the presence so, so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, so the, the absence of, of regime, uh, I think that's shaped us in a way. Mm -hmm. so, so therefore, you know, maybe family had become more and more in, in, important. Uh, but of course that has changed for the last, you know, 60, 70 years. Uh, and and uh, well, I have never, in fact, given it a thought, uh, you know, how that dance together, uh, you know, family and, and, and so society. But I, I believe it, it lies in, if, if you have a good democracy, then, and, or the democracy, then, then it lies in the idea of it that, that family and, and the society should not be the one and same, but it should dance together. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like a dancing, you know, partners. Yeah. And, and it should, you know, influence it, it's, it's other. It's not mirror each other, but, but, you know, influence. And, and, and then, you know, it's so important to have a strong society to go in if, if there are some 
you know, problems in, in, in families. And yeah, so. yeah. So I just want to ask you if you, for example, as an Icelandic writer, feel a kind of pressure um, put on you from what you have to write about. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, to choose some Icelandic topics or themes. Because I was thinking that it is sometimes the issue for writers that they, uh, th that the society tries to make them someone uh, they actually sometimes wouldn't like to maybe be in such a narrow, narrow path. Mm. Uh, I also was thinking that when I was once asked if I'm more Slovak or European writer, I said I'm a world writer because it's not the uh, about it doesn't talk about the quality, but about that that I actually uh, grew up on reading uh, writers from whole world, and I was influenced by that much more than by Slovak literature. Mm -hmm. So I think that when someone is growing up on literature from the whole world, he's a world writer. He's not just Slovak or Icelandic. But maybe in Iceland the situation is different because you are so, I would say, original. Well, it's, uh, I think though, though, though uh, that, that, that even though that you feel that, that you are world uh, yeah, influenced by, by more the, from from all all over the world, but that in your own country and etc. That, that we should never forget that that uh, one of the things that, that influence you always is your own language. Of course, that's and, yeah. And, yeah, and then your surrounding etc. And, and I uh, one of the things that that makes world literature so so wonderful is that yes, it's it's. It's the same ocean, mm -hmm. uh, but there is a different current or different stream in in you know in books from Denmark or, or from Italy or Slovak or that. And and I usually I I want to I read to travel also mm -hmm. because you know and and I think that's very important that that you can always. Be sure of if, if you're reading an uh, author from other country, you get some, you know, feeling from yeah, yeah. from you know that 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 you're re reading not from your from your, something new or something you don't know. So yeah, I yeah. think that's important. And and uh, but the other thing that well, uh, I personally have have never never felt any pressure or or. or and I never give it a thought uh, that, that I, if I should or should not write about something, but because I only write about that, that, that is so important for me that, that I can't get away from it. I, I, exactly, I, I, yeah. I have to do it. And, but there is always, uh, not only now, but, but always, that, that there, are, there is always a pressure from you know, whatever society or, or the literary world or, 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 or whatever to, you know, some uh, things to write about. Uh, it depends how the time is, you know, if, 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 if there are troubled time, then there's a pressure that, that you write about that or, or, if, uh, or you write about, like for, for, for now, the global warming and etc. There, there's mm -hmm. a great pressure on, on that. And it's un understandable in, 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 in many ways. And I, and I know some writers, you know, are influenced by, by, by it, both negative and, 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 and positive. Uh, uh, but it's, it's so important that, that it's a literature that, that make the decision, not the society. Yeah. Uh, because if you try to force something into your novel or, or poetry or whatever, and uh, you know from outside, then you you are ruining something. Uh, then it become becomes it lack death. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it has to come from your you know from your inner inner world, and 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 so it's both understandable that that there, there is a pressure and I understand why, but uh, trying to to you know demand that writers write about this or that topic because it's so important at that time 
that's great mis misunderstanding of what literature really is. And, and, and also if, if you are dissatisfied with something in your society, some, some, some you know, in, in politics or, or you know, global warming, whatever, it's much, much better to, to write an article. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to point at, is that, for example, when I see the um, bestsellers, which are from different parts of the world, there are a lot of books which actually are about the topics which I daily read in the newspapers. Mm. And for me, it's something which puts me off because I think that uh, I like to read newspaper and I'm interested in what's going on in the world, but that's newspaper and then I do expect something else from the something else from the art and literature. Mm. So I think this is um, this is a kind of trend now that I, I see that people really like to actually take some kind of topic which is popular, let's say migration, and make a story from that kind of uh, surroundings or environment. And I mean, if 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 they succeed, if if they. If you succeed to, to write a, a good good novel, fantastic. But but uh, but usually, you, uh, very often, you have to offer, you you have to uh, you you don't gain so much in the literature sense. Yeah. But but yeah. But, but maybe you gain that uh, that there is a discussion about that topic, and okay, that's positive in a way. Mm -hmm. If you want that, mm -hmm. then that's fine. That's fine. It 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 depends what you want to do as a, as, 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 as a writer. You, if you want to be a, mostly part of, of, of the talks uh, today, mm -hmm. then you write that kind of books and that's fine, it's just fine. But you have to know, you have to know that, that you are, you know, what you want with your uh, literature, what you want with your poems and, and, and novels. You have to be, in your head, you have to be straight there. Okay, I just would like to ask you the last question, which would have been, can you imagine your life and writing living somewhere else than on Iceland? Well, it's of course difficult to, to imagine oneself being another than you, so have you, you are. No, I uh, mean, have you uh, ever been somewhere, for example, where you would uh, say to yourself, oh, I actually, I think I could have lived uh, here and... No, I mean, I think coming from an, from an island, you are doomed, uh, and and you uh, you always want to or always once in a while you have to want to go away and 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 it's important to to live abroad for for, for some time for everyone, but especially if you live in an island. But I'm I'm so deeply rooted here in in my in my in the nature and in the language and that that I couldn't think of myself uh, elsewhere mm -hmm. but you know living elsewhere for some time uh, it's just wonderful okay okay thank you